guys, Sailor Mars here, Ray here, and today I'm going to talk about this one thing that I do think we need to talk about. Alright, so in a Sailor Moon followership, there always seems to be, you know, more than one side to it. So, when it comes to the English offshoots of Sailor Moon, you have at least <clears throat> I'm going to say four of the, at least have four of them. You got Deke, Pioneer, Cloverway, well, in other words, Path Seeker, and Viz. That's it. You do got Renaissance Atlantic or whatever, or Great Sea New Birth. Um. <clears throat> In the Sailor Moon followership, there seems to be a lot of folks who, you know, they like to talk about how the Deke one was bad, you know, how the drawing was, you know, how the Sagan tails were shifted around and names were shifted around and, you know, and some fault, some sagas weren't even done at all and, you know, make it out <clears throat> that the Deke one was bad or something. Or say it was a sin on drawing films or whatever. You know, it has been many years since Deke did their first offshoot of Sailor Moon. <clears throat> and when I think of Sailor Moon, that's what I think of. You know, I don't think of Viz as one. I don't really, you know, I think of the Deke one when I first think of Sailor Moon. And then I think of Cloverwing and Unso. And yes, we already did make a film talking about where all the hate of all the offshoots of, you know, Sailor Moon's English work came from. Now, first off, I'm going to say Deep Sailor Moon. It was not as bad as a lot of Sailor Moon followers out there like to say. You know, they have their little, you know, they have their thoughts and beliefs. <clears throat> and they think that Deep Sailor Moon was bad. But it was not. I have watched it many times throughout the years on sundrous websites. And it's not as bad as you folks make it out to be. I mean, you folks like to bitch about, oh, the, the players, the ones who were speaking for them, they don't speak the way I think the cell should speak like. I think they're good. You know, I think they're dead on on what these cells would talk like, you know. And being angry and it and being in, you know, Settlelander English or New World English or whatever you want to call it. Um, why would that be a big deal? So yeah. And the sagas and tales that are being told are the same sagas and tales that are being told in all the other offshoots of Sailor Moon. They didn't really do anything to shift the saga and tales out. They're the same kind. Alright. <clears throat> so I don't see the big deal about that. There's nothing wrong with the sagas that are being the saga tale, the saga telling or the tale telling that's being told at least in the first two following the Sailor Moon that Deke did. Or when Cloverway took over. Now, that doesn't irk me at all. And then you folks make a big thing, you know, about the names being shifted. No, I think these these names true these names truly are the good names for them. Good borrowed names for them. It doesn't you know, I like their names. And yes, a lot of them are Latin and Farsi and you know and you know and uh, Hebrew and some English name, but a lot of them are borrowed names from other speeches, a lot of them being French and Greek and Latin borrowed names and one Farsi borrowed name. But come on, it's not a big deal. The names are not a big deal. I like the names, that's what I call them. You know. So at the end of the day, 
I think it's not as bad as you make it out to be. You folks make it out to be the worstest thing out there. I don't know why. That's just your thought and belief. It's not. You make a big thing out of Sailor Says. But at the end of the day, I think that Sailor Says, you know, um, was a needed thing at the time. You know, there was a law at the time that said that all draw all drawing films had to have some kind of learning to them. And that's how Deke and even other other businesses at the time had to uphold this oversight. But I think they did teach folks some needed things. Now, anyway, another thing is you you folks like to uh well that seem to be it. You know. That's the only things that you folks, you know, say make it bad. And then you talk about the unstraight being handled the wrong way, but I don't think they were. Not at all. You know, Zoe Sight being a woman, yes. And Clover and uh, Deke's world, she's a woman, and that it is what it is. And I don't have anything. I am not, and I don't, and I don't think that's a big deal. But you folks make a big deal out of it. You know, and we already talked about why uh, Zoe Slide had to become a woman. We already talked about the folks their stand and mindset on the straight at the time. Um, and then you also like to uh, bitch about how oh Cloverway just left it alone. No, no, no. Cloverway had to make some shifts to Sailor Moon too. Maybe not as much as Deke had to, but they did make some shifts to it. And even Cloverway stuff isn't as bad as you make it out to be either. So, at the end of the day, you folks can have your thoughts and beliefs on Sailor Moon all you want. But I don't think Sailor Moon's Deke offshoot or Cloverway's offshoot was as bad as you make it out to be. I don't think it was you know so anyway if you like this film then follow me over here at Sailor Moon for Life which is also our handle one and the same watch well, the last film we made yesterday over here with Sailor Mercury talking about getting gift sheets for Yule is it a good thing or a bad thing I Sailor <coughs> I Sailor Mars Ray and I hope you like this film. Bye.